right, guys, let's get into this. Um, he shunts trucks that are needed to be filled Gator! with a slate to our mountain area, ready for the engines to take the Krovens gate. Sometimes Luke will make deliveries on his own when there's not much work for him to do, and he would often visit the engines either at Holston Castle or the Scar Lowy. The engines were always happy to see him, all except for Sir Handel who found Luke to be a bit annoying. Hello, Sir Handel, he would often say cheerfully. How are you? Fine, thank you, sighed Sir Handel. I'm just resting. Oh, all right, catch you later. <sighs> too petty. One evening, the engines were just resting in their shed when the thing controller arrived. We need an engine to take these trucks to the old slate quarry. I'll do it, cried Luke. It's not far from the Blue Mountain Quarry. Thank you, Luke, replied the thing controller happily. When you get to the old slate quarry, you must leave the trucks in the siding and head off straight away. It's not usually a place where engines go. And he left. Luke was puzzled. How come the old slate quarry isn't a place where we go? Peter Sam was about to tell him about his accident with the trucks there when Sir Handel spoke first. What caused its demise okay, is that these guys, like... beetle creatures had come to take it over. Those vans you're pulling are filled with scrap for them to eat. But if an engine dares to go forth into their territory, they will get eaten. Wait, that what? happened to an engine once named Proteus. Luke began to shiver. All right, Sir Handel, that's enough. You're scaring the poor engine. I'm only telling him the truth. Somebody has to. Why are you trying to scare poor Lucas? Hi, Chloe! Okay, we're going to skip this because I don't want any copyright claim issues. All right, and we're back. Let's go. As he puffed down the line, he was still thinking about Sir Handel's story. Soon they arrived at the old slate mine. Don't you think he's being a little dramatic? There in front of them was a huge metal fence with skull and crossbone signs all over it. and uncoupled and scurried away back up the line. As he stopped, he heard a gate opened and then saw a Sorry, black guys, shadowy figure that. rolling towards the vans he delivered. Luke couldn't make out the figure, but he saw the figure coupling up to the vans and then rolled away. Luke shivered. Then he saw some vans coming out of the yard. Uh oh. The my, he quivered. Th they must be th very hungry. But Luke didn't know that the bands he saw coming out were in fact different ones. He was too frightened to pay attention. Then he heard the gate slam shut. Uh oh. The sound of them becoming electrified. D driver, let's go home. Let's go home. Luke's driver and fireman agreed, and they puffed away back to the Blue Mountain Quarry. Quickly back home, hoping the beetle creatures weren't following him. This woke Owen up. Oh, hello, Luke. What's the rush? Have you seen a ghost? He chortled. He's freaked out. Hang on a second, guys. Say Mom, is Trooper with you? Okay, just checking! Not Owen, replied checking, Luke. Guys. Then he told Owen about his delivery to the old slate quarry. What were the vans filled with? Sir Handel told me that they were filled with scrap for these beetle creatures to eat, and they oh, eat engines who dare to go near them. I hope I don't come near them again. And he puffed away into his shed.
Sir Handel! Sir Handel! He cried. What is it, Luke? You were right about that line to the slate mine. I am. I, I am. Yes. Once when I delivered the vans, one of them came out and took them away, and then brought out the vans again. I wouldn't go anywhere near there if I were you. I don't think so as well, Luke. But it's the only way to keep them in order. If they see any of us, they will devour us all. Oh, dear, replied Luke sadly. Sir Handel just giggled. Later that day, the thin controller came to see Luke and had asked him to take the vans to the slate quarry again. But, sir, what about the creatures? Creatures? What creatures? The ones who live at the slate quarry, sir. Sir Handel told me that they each scrap their in these vans and would eat any engine that comes near them. Then the thin controller smiled. I don't think they're anything of the sort that Sir Handel had said to you, he replied. But you'll soon see what these beetle creatures are. Luke was worried. He tried his best to avoid going as he puffed along the line. First, he said he can't make steam. Then he tried to say his brakes keep locking up. Then he tried to say he can't get his safety valve to work. But no matter how many times he tried to think of an excuse, nothing seemed to work. And this annoyed the trucks. When they came to the old slate mine again, Luke was slowing down from the hill so he wouldn't go fast. But the trucks thought he was trying to stall time. Oh, no, you don't, cried the trucks, and they gave him a bump. Luke was shocked by the impact as he charged down the hill. The driver tried to put on the brakes, but the truck surged on. Luke saw the gate and he closed his eyes tight, waiting for the impact. Help! He cried as he rammed through the gate. He then suddenly stopped. Luke was relieved. Hey, what are you doing here? shouted a voice. This is private property. Oh no, they come to get me, cried Luke. Please, don't eat me. I've got this lovely scrap for you all. What do you mean, eat you? replied another voice. <laughs> You're an engine? asked Luke astonished. What? That's right, lad, replied another. We are the engines of Sodor's Ministry of Defense. Ministry of Defense? We store ammunition in these old mines in case any war that would in breaks out. Oh! I thought these vans were loaded with scrap. And I saw you coming out with the same ones. Same ones? We shunt out different vans for engine to take. I shunted out some before, but the engine that came ran away like he committed a crime. Yeah, that was me, replied Luke, blushing. I'm sorry. I thought you lot were creatures who feed on engines. Now who will tell you such a thing like that? Then Luke mentioned about Sir Handel. I think we can arrange a bit of a comeback replied the manager slyly. Oh! Was still finding it funny how he tricked Luke. Then the thin controller came towards him, looking worried. Sir Handel, I got a call from the Blue Mountain Quarry. They are wondering where Luke is. I suspect that he's still down at the old mine. Hurry up and find him before those creatures get to him. Uh, oh, oh dear, thought Sir Handel. Perhaps they are true after all. Mr. Percival knows what's Sir going Handel on! Made his way to the slate quarry. Who knows what's happening? He quivered as he neared the now broken gate. Um, Luke? Luke, are you here? Sir Handel! Help! Sir Handel jumped. Luke! He cried. Hold on, I'm coming to help! Oh, no, you don't, shouted an unfamiliar voice. I found this delicious engine outside our sanctuary, and I knew more than it closer than your next. But save yourself, Sir Handel, what are you doing for? Then there was the sound of scrap metal being bashed around. Sir Handel was shocked by the thought and he puffed away, thinking how terrible he was to Luke for scaring him.
That was clever. That was really clever. <laughs> Defense engines played a oh, trick on him. They all laughed and laughed. Thank you. <laughs> that was fun. No problem, Luke. My name's John. I'm Paul. I'm George. I'm Richard. And I'm Peter. They could call us the Beatles. <laughs> Not to be confused with that band, of course, chuckled Richard, and everyone laughed. Sorry to intrude on your property, apologized Luke. The trucks have caused my runaway. Well, that's all right replied the manager kindly, but don't do it again. And don't tell your friends about what we're doing here. It's top secret. Will do, replied Luke, and thank you. So Luke puffed his way home, knowing that the creatures were really nice engines. Meanwhile, Sir Handel... They got him! They got him! Got who? asked Rusty. Luke? Hello, Sir Handel. How did you survive? Oh, I had my ways, replied Luke. Luke, I'm sorry for teasing you. I didn't know those creatures were real. I only tricked you because you were too peppy. I'm truly sorry for causing you trouble. Be as peppy as you want to be. I would want that instead of you being scared. That's all right, Sir Handel. What were they like? Ah, well, they told me to keep it a secret. Some things are best left undiscovered. That was an interesting episode. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys next time for the other episode of Shining Time Station. Adios, everybody.